Hello, hello, hello. We have uh, another Programming 2 Tech Biz tutorial with the Zumo bots. And I called this program Button Input, but it could be called a number of different things. We're showing several things here. Uh, one of the parts is this will be the first program where we're actually using our Zumo bot library. Okay, so the other ones were just kind of generic code for Arduino in general. This one here is going to be using inf stuff from the library of our actual Zumo library that we installed way back in tutorial one and when we were in the classroom together. Uh, here we have our uh, pound sign include and then in this less than and greater than sign I have Zumo 32U4.H that's giving us access to that library all right then here I have what's going to give us access to Zumo bot button a there's three buttons built into our Zumo bot four if you count the reset uh, there's and they're labeled as a B and C all right so we're just going to be using button a for this tutorial we're going to be using three or code for three LED lights all right we're going to be using um, our LCD screen that's on our Zumo bot and we're going to be using our our A button on the robot so we're using kind of a lot of things here um, so anyway uh, we want to give access to the Zumo bot uh, letter A we want to define that so Zumo 32 U4 button A we're from now on going to be just calling button A and then this is going to be Zumo 32 U4 LCD and we're just gonna name that LCD so those have names they are uh, what we're going to be referring to them in our code and now we are ready for the void setup alright anytime you have a program that's going to be using a else or if it's not going to be using an LCD screen I didn't use this on my other tutorials but I should have you should generally have your Zumo 32U4 LCD and then you should use your LCD dot clear in case their previous program has a message on yours you'll probably notice if you're going back through our old tutorials I had some words that were on my screen typically you won't have those on there those are from the last time I was using a LCD program uh, so what I want to do here is I want to clear that LCD screen so LCD dot clear empty parentheses with the semicolon that's going to clear anything that's on that LCD screen attached to the monitor the next thing I want to do is I want to start putting in some text alright so the way that this works is uh, you have your rows and you have your columns alright so our first comment here prints LED in column 0 line 0 how do you have a column 0 and a line 0 uh, column 0 refers to the first column and line 0 refers to the first line in this case alright so that's something to keep in mind. You would think maybe it would be one, uh, line one would be the first, but it's actually you start with number zero. And this particular LED light just has has two uh, two rows in there. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to have in here LCD dot go to x y zero zero. That's referring to column zero, line zero. All right, and then LCD dot print capital LED. So it's going to print the acronym LED. And then underneath that, we have um, prints example in column zero, line one. LCD dot go to XY zero comma one. LCD dot print example now the reason why these are LCD and this is LED is I just called this um, LED example because we're going to be using our LED lights more but these messages are being displayed on our LCD screen 
So just to avoid that confusion, and in case I said that wrong earlier, um, that's what that is. All right, then after we have that, we want to have the program wait for button A to be pushed before it goes to the void loop. In our other programs, it just went right to the void loop as soon as our void setup was done. But here we have waits for button A to be pressed. And I have button A dot wait for button. So it's just waiting for me to press that button. All right. Now we're ready for the void loop. All right here. This is going to turn on the green LED light and the red and yellow LED lights off. All right. So we have three lights that we can program on the top of this Zumo bot. And I have LED red, LED yellow, LED green. Now looking up here at our common, if we're turning on the green and the other one's off, you'll notice just by a little binary code knowledge, zero means off, one means on, right? And then down here I'm going to say lcd.clear to clear the screen and lcd.print on. So it's going to be saying on when the light is on. All right, it's going to hold that program for one second. Delay 1000. All right, after that, it's going to turn off all three LED lights. LED red, LED yellow, LED green are all zero. They all have the zero value, which means off. And LCD.clear, and it's going to say LCD.print off. So the screen will say off, and it'll hold that program, or it'll hold the program there for one second. So delay of 1,000. All right. So ignore my comment down here. So with this program here, it's going to be turning on the green LED light all right, for a second. And then it's going to be turning off the light and waiting a second. You would be able to change this program, right, and go in and make it if you wanted it to turn on any of these other colors instead pretty simple to figure out. Alright, so let's go ahead and start running this program and then we will look at our robot here. And we're back. So I'm getting ready to run this program. Alright, it's doing its thing. And we can see on here, as this program starts getting ready, all right, it's uploaded. So you can see down here at the bottom, we have these uh, three buttons that are on there, A, B, and C. So I'm going to push button A. All right, and then you can see also this green LED light. It's turning on, and the words on the screen say on, and then it says off when they're off. On when it's on, off when it's off. And it's running through that way. So on this one here, again, we used um, our ZumoBot library. We incorporated a LCD screen. And we incorporated the three LED lights, even though this demonstration is only turning on the green light. Uh, through the code, you can figure out very easily how to do that with red and yellow. Uh, remember, in our class, what we did next um, was you were to come up with some type of a program that allowed you to have a message de uh, delivered with Morse code in the use of flashing lights. And you could do that whatever way you could come up uh, to come up with that uh, solution to that problem was how you could do that. And we were able to see a lot of great examples uh, of, how we, of how we did that in class. But uh, this kind of concludes our lesson or our section here over the LED lights on our Zumo robots. So hopefully you learned some stuff from that. And hopefully you'll keep watching as we get to more fun and complex
programs uh, on down the road here. Thanks for watching.